Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In today's topic, we will learn what is inside a linear voltage regulator and how does it works. Linear voltage regulator used in this video is 7805, which has an input range from 14 volt DC to 35 volt DC with an output from 5 volt DC to 15 volt DC. The output voltage depends on the reference number of the regulator. The first two digits as shown 78 are indicating series of the voltage regulator and the last two digits 05 show the output voltage. A linear voltage regulator has three terminals input, ground and output. Let's understand what actually happens inside a linear voltage regulator and its components and their functions. Current limiting circuit. Linear voltage regulators include internal current limiting. This helps prevent damage to the regulator and connected components in the event of a short circuit or overload. Pass element. The pass element, often a transistor, is responsible for adjusting the output voltage based on the feedback received from the error amplifier. The pass element controls the flow of current to regulate the voltage. Feedback network. The error signal is fed back to the control circuit through a feedback network, creating a closed loop system. Error amplifier. An error amplifier compares the reference voltage with a portion of the output voltage, generating an error signal based on any difference between the two. Thermal protection circuit. To prevent overheating, it may include a thermal shutdown feature that temporarily turns off the regulator if it exceeds a certain temperature. Now we know all the components of a linear voltage regulator and their functions and we are ready to understand how does it finally regulates. The linear voltage regulator has an internal reference voltage against which the actual output voltage is compared. An error amplifier continuously generates an error signal based on the difference between the reference voltage and the actual output voltage. The adjustment of the pass element in a linear voltage regulator involves using the error signal from the feedback loop to control the pass element's conductivity, ultimately regulating the output voltage. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions. Let us know in the comment section the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.